glossy waves. For this look, we're going to keep it sleek and shiny, an elegant texture that's tightly controlled, but comes off free and sexy. Organize your tools. We'll need the full arsenal here. Let's get down to basics, your model's hair. Step one, prepare. To prepare the hair, use a comb or brush to make sure there are no tangles in your way. Step two, dampen. Use a water spray to dampen the hair uniformly. And if you want more manageability, or if the hair has seen better days, work in a light leave-in conditioner as well. Using your fingers, work the conditioner evenly into the hair. Step three. Blow dry. Now come the tools. Grab a medium round brush and holding the hair dryer perpendicular to the piece of hair you are working on, blow dry section by section, starting at the tips. Make sure that the tips are dry before heading toward the roots. Heated hair easily loses its shape, so give it a few seconds to cool before removing the brush. Each piece should end up with a shiny, beautiful curl, just like this perfect example. The result is shiny, controlled, and decidedly frizz-free. Step four, curling. Please remember that hot hair tools are just that, hot. Severe burns can occur if used incorrectly. Always be cautious and aware. To spare your hands when using hot hair tools, wear a thin cotton glove, which allows for grip without any burns. Now onto the curling iron. To prepare for the next step, do a quick pass with the iron just to warm a small section of hair. Hold that section parallel to the head, maintaining a medium tension and on downwards to the tips. Then, start rolling the hair clockwise around the curling iron while maintaining tension. Remember to curl each section in the same direction. Close the gutter halfway and hold for about 10 seconds, but use your judgment here. Less time for fine hair, more time for thicker hair. To release the curl, hold the hair at the root and gently free the iron from the hair, letting it fall away easily. Heated hair is very delicate. Be careful with your fingers so you don't leave any lasting imprints. One curl down, the rest of the head to go. Stay ever mindful of the all spirals in one direction rule. Step five, serum.
With a spiral set, it's time to add some light shine serum throughout. Smooth it gently over the hair with the palms of your hands. But remember, there is such a thing as too much shine. Add the serum little by little to keep from overdoing it. Step 6. Brush. Time to bring the gloss out. Using a cushioned brush, gently brush the surface of the hair. As you go, you'll notice the texture and curve really standing out. Be sure to brush the whole head, both down as well as sideways. My personal preference is for a brush, but I make no judgments about wide-toothed combs. They work equally well here. Step 7. Hairspray. Always protect your model's face and skin when using any products and always spray hairspray from a distance of approximately 30 centimeters, 12 inches. For photography and video purposes only, the hairspray appears closer to the hair than it should be. Of course, you may opt for a little more control, in which case a light or medium spray will do the trick. Or go a step further and really play off what hairspray can offer. More volume, more pronounced waves, more control. All you need to do is take pieces of the hair, pull gently away from the head, and apply spray until you achieve your version of the final look. And there you go, the final look. The perfect sleek, shiny gloss that never goes out of style.